to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. And he's up on across the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Super three-punch combination by Kid Dynamite. Hands of stone, he's got to deal with a cut around his eye. Now, it looks like it's below his eye, so we'll see what kind of effect it has. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. Two. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Kid Dynamite's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Hands of stones tagged by that powerful hook. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Great work. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Keep your hands up. Right, let's do it. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. Comes right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> Hands of stone showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. <laughs> nice block by Kid Dynamite. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Comes right back with a big blow up top. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Good block. We count down the final moments of this round. Finish with the hook. It's easy. 
It's there, just like we practice in the gym. Throw a punch, finish. And round number three is underway. Hey, you got something. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A stinging uppercut by hands of stone. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Kid Dynamite. A solid uppercut by hands of stone. Oh, what a big hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. Very accurate two-punch combo by Hands of Stone. Protecting his head well with his guard. Nice. How about that? Counter shot to the head. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. Plus shot by Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Final 10 seconds. <laughs> and that's the end of round three. Get up. Go to the body, then to the head. Then finish. I never show signs of fatigue. I turn tired. Start of round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Kid Dynamite's trailing by a round, but in all honesty, Teddy, he's very much in this fight, having scored a knockdown. Having scored a knockdown on the cards, but also mentally knowing he can hurt his opponent. Teddy, he's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one, because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Kid Dynamite's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Kid Dynamite. Good flush shot upstairs. He comes back with the left hand again. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Kid Dynamite's left now getting into the mix. Oh, you got this one. Little head knocking with that right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Two, three, four. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. <laughs> Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Hands of Stone. Right to the belt line. Kid Dynamite's doing well here with that two-punch combination. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Hands of stones. Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. 
You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. High grade jab there by Kid Dynamite. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Piercing jab. Targeting that straight left hand. Right to the body. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Great hook to the head that time. They focus inside. Stay away from those. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by hands of stone. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Oh, what a huge power punch. Kid Dynamite's getting a big reminder here. The evening is not over. The job is not finished. Go out and keep at it. He does a nice job with the uppercut. And I think fans, especially fans that like the big shots, the lots of offense, they love that power punch. Yeah, because, you know, it's something that comes out of nowhere. It has real impact. It has vision value to it. I mean, it gets your attention. All of a sudden, it explodes up the middle, and bang, the head comes up, and it gives an opportunity for a little sweat to fly and for other punches to find that chin before it comes back down. Hands of Stone's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. There's the old one-two coming after him. Hands of Stone's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Right to the belt line. Kid Dynamite's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Fighting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Kid Dynamite's taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that, and his trainer, more importantly, shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell them you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these rounds. Keep working the body. You're not focusing. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Hands of Stone. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Speed moving, working the jabs. More punches, work the body again. 
Up top with the right hand. At the halfway point of round seven. Targeting that overhand left. Kid Dynamite's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Not precise at all by Kid Dynamite. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hands of Stone. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Hands of Stone. Good job with another left hand. of Stone's hope for winning this fight is not slipping away. I know you see Teddy's scorecard there and you say how could he possibly make a comeback? Teddy, it's pretty obvious. Both guys are landing punches. Yeah, as long as you can touch the guy, as long as you can find the guy, and you have power, and he has power, you can still get the job done. You can pull it out. That is a sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. A stabbing right hand comes in by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's left landing well. Nice block by Kid Dynamite. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Boxing 101, jab followed by the straight. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Hands of Stone's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up, but it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Oh, you're exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get over anxious like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. He got hit, but he sends it right back. A great hammering punch by Kid Dynamite. Here we are in the later stages of this fight, and he still has a hop in his step. Well, this is his territory. This is a guy that has good endurance. This is a guy who's a slow starter, comes on late. He's feeling pretty good right now where he is. Kid Dynamite's able to land a good, solid left hand. And this round comes to an end. This is a white Hands of Stone's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Scored well with that right hand to the body. A flush hook scores well for him. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. I'm cut. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Not able to land the headshot. Cover up, cover up. Fine looking right hand by Kid Dynamite. Nice work, nice work. Blocks that punch. Move it. Hands 
Prince of Stone's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. That's it. Kid Dynamite's left. Working well that time. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And that's the end of round nine. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to fool around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. a wrecking ball one punch power ends the evening you gotta love that kid dynamite's fitting end to a very strong night for him there is a business component to this game here this boxing game and the business component is yeah you got to win but you want to win spectacularly you want to get people interested excited he just did that it was a good one indeed and for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us We'll see you next time at the fight.